Good morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Yep, it's another one of those mornings where we are not going to have a rollback. Once again, I got myself busy with my bike box last night and I must have spent oh, a good two, three hours on it altogether, trying to get everything just exactly right and then measuring as best I could. I got uh, most of my components printed out here and uh, yeah. I know, I, I think I know what sizes I have to have everything. And uh, my dimension lumber here, like I need two by fours and I need four 44 inches long, five 40 inches long, four 88 inches long. By the way, the, in the inside of the box is going to be 88 inches. Uh, I think I mentioned this, that yes, uh, Anna measured the bike to be 88 and one quarter inch, but I'm pretty sure that when I run it ahead, and, and I, maybe I didn't make it clear, what I'm going to do is I run it ahead, I crank the wheel over to the left as far as it'll go, because it's going to want to naturally sort of fall over that way anyway when you put the kickstand down. So when it's leaning over to the left a little bit, then it gives a little bit of space, and I, I can just move everything ahead at a bit of an angle if I have to. So that'll give, I'm guessing I'm going to have about that much extra room in the back, all being well. And in the unfortunate event that it's not, as I mentioned before, I'll just cut a little hole in the front where the front wheel can stick out and I'll just put a little, I don't know, <laughs> it'll look funny, but that's, uh, that's, that's not going to happen. I mean, the chances of that happening are one in a hundred or less. And I'm willing to take that chance. So I'm making it exactly the same size as the bike when the bike is stretched out. <laughs> Because when the bike is scrunched up, it's going to be shorter, right? Right. Okay. Now, what do we want to do here today? I know I keep saying things like maybe we'll light up the module today. And well, today might be the day. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> we'll uh, we'll move in, and I'll, there's going to be a lot of little difficulties, things that. Uh, well, we'll talk about it when we get to it. Um, as far as the sunrise today goes, we're not going to have a sunrise. I can well imagine that uh, Don and Bridget are going to come walking by. Well, it's it's 7.21 now. They're, they're usually there around uh, 7.27 to 7.35. That seems to be their time slot. They probably always leave the house at exactly the same time. When I used to walk to work years ago, I used to be almost to the second at the same point. I used to carry a little, uh, it, was, it was a little piece of wood. And on it, I'll see if I can find it, maybe I'll show it to you tomorrow. Uh, a little piece of wood, and on it, it had the the times. And, and I would be to the second at a particular spot, almost. And if I was a little bit behind, then I would just put a little bit more effort in my walk. Or if I was a little bit ahead, I'd sort of back up a little bit. And it was just sort of a fun thing for me. I just had this thing about having to keep a routine and a schedule. And, and I would leave the house at exactly the same time, and... Crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess crazy's the word. Anyway, uh, let's uh, get crazy busy here and uh, try and get something done. Okay, here is my, you might say, a bit of a dilemma. But not, not a big dilemma, just, just a little one. And that is that two of these LEDs this one and this one are going to be in behind this tank and this box and the leads and everything are not going to be seen because the the shroud is going to come up over it or not the shroud but the hull isn't isn't there something up in the front here somewhere uh oh yeah there's there's one right right there um okay now Let's zoom in a little bit here. When we come in and look at it from, from this angle here, this one and this one and this one 
are the the leads and everything and the the hardware on the top of the LED is going to be shown. But I was noticing earlier there is a slight space underneath the tank, and I'm hoping that I can plug the LED in here and then sort of swing the leads around and the wire and everything and sort of twist it around and have the wires come out the back. That way there's going to be very little of the uh, top of the LED showing. However, however, this one is going to be a different story. It, it's just going to show and that's all there is to it. The only thing I was thinking is, is it possible maybe to cover that up with some sort of model putty and then repaint everything black? Um, maybe that's a thought too. Uh, okay, let's let's recompose here and uh, just for the fun of it, uh, let's let's try and run the, this LED. Okay, making no sudden moves here so we don't accidentally yank an LED off of the end of the wires. And, uh, okay, I think we'll unravel it from this end here. Now, get that tape off of the wire. And, you yeah, know, very, very carefully here. I guess where it folded up, where it folded over the edge, it kind of kinked away. I didn't realize that was going to happen. It's, I don't think it's a serious thing. Where, where's the other one? Oh, here it is. The, these wires are so fine. Like I say, if you, if you don't have good eyes, you, you don't want to be working with this wire. Okay. Now, let's feed these through. Maybe I should be zooming in a bit here. Okay, let's see if we can get these wires underneath the tank. Okay, there's one. And the other one. Now I lost the first one. Oh, there they are. Okay, here we go. Very carefully now. Very carefully around. Yeah, and the idea would be to move very slowly so that if something jams, you don't... Like, for instance, right there. Okay, we made it. The, the gap is so slight. You know, I, I wonder, you know, this is an, an afterthought, but I wonder if what, what I should have done maybe is, is sort of twisted these wires together just slightly, just so that they stay together. Oh, you know what's happened? I've broken the wire off. I'm going to have to resolder that back on. I guess I didn't do a very good job. I'm going to just quickly do that off camera. Sorry, folks. But first, I need comfort food. Yeah, I haven't had a muffin for, must be about a week. I just warmed this up in the microwave, so that's why the inside of the bag has moisture on it. Okay, what do we got going on here? Okay, 53 grams. I need my glasses. I can't see. Okay, 53 grams. And the muffin is 3.73 calories per gram. Okay. 
3.73 times 53 equals 197, we'll call it 198 grams, okay? Muffin. I almost put it in the wrong place. Okay, oh, it's, it's down to 52 now. We'll call it 53. Okay. I don't know what the pizza's gonna be yet. Anyway, I know it's not gonna be as good as Arlene's, is it? Not bad, though. Not bad. Okay. We'll just uh, recompose here after I solder up and we'll try and get our LED back in place. Mm, not bad. A little dry. Early this morning, and I got I did get up early this morning, checking my comments and got a comment from Tennessee Jim. And he was suggesting why don't you wrap the wire around the thing coming out of the LED. I can't remember exactly how he worded it, so I'll, I'll thunk it down. And, and I, I said, well, it, I, I can't really do that. My dexterity wouldn't lend itself to doing that. But I think if I do it like this, maybe I can. Let's just get this wire back out of the way here. Very gently. We don't want to break it off now. But if I was to hold this like this and then take... Tony's tweezers here and just go around like this. Is this going to work? Maybe I should fasten the LED in something just a little bit. Well, I can hold it like that, can I? I guess it doesn't have to go around too many times. It just has to go around enough to stay there. Like, like this. It's, it's sort of, it's sort of there. It's kind of tight. Okay, now, if I, if I don't touch that, and then <clears throat> I'll take a little bit of, uh, uh, solder paste and put it on it. Where's a, one of Gabe's swabs here without the swab? It, it, it's possible we don't really need the solder paste on there, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, now... Okay, I got it. Alright, now let's get this out of the way, and uh, got to heat up the soldering iron. Okay, thank goodness I can... Uh, delete out the nonsense. No, this this should work. Yeah. Now if the wire doesn't break that'll never come off. And I should I should be able to take and, and uh cut cut this uh off there where you know where where it's sticking out. Yeah that that, that should work. Thanks, Jim. Another good idea from Tennessee. Okay, I hope my self-locking tweezer here is not going to let go on me. And I only get one shot at this, because I can only cut it off once. Well, I guess I could solder it back on again, but I mean... Why? There we go. Yeah. Now this little Tamiya drill has really worked out good and, and, and it was fun to make. I think that'll fit in there. Yeah, there we go. Now, I think you know what I'm going to do, don't you? Okay, we do not want to overdo this. And I 
think I'm about as far as I can go here and still hold on to both of them at the same time. I think this is going to be good. Uh, now that means that it's going to be twice as thick as it was before, but uh, I think that this is actually going to be better. Now, as long as I didn't draw these two contacts together, well, I guess I can always pry them apart. Okay, uh, let's uh, recompose and see if we can get it underneath our tank. Okay, I think that's going to make contact. Now straighten this out so the electricity doesn't have to make any sharp bends. And if these there's no bare wires touching together, this should work. Okay, we went, uh, what was it, 2 and 2.75 volts, or thereabouts. Okay, do we have light going on here? Yes, we do. There we go. We're up and running. Well, that's bright. That's way too bright. Okay, let's try this again. This time we'll try not to break it. Doesn't want to go now. It's got a little bit of solder stuck on the end of it. It was before it didn't. Wonder if I could lift this up just a little. Hmm. Oh, another problem. Another problem. I don't want to lift too hard, I'll, I'll pull it right off of there. No, well, there, there is there is an opening there. Okay, I'm wondering if uh, I'm going to have to maybe take a little drill or something and just make a little a little hole, sort of. But it, it had been my plan, where is it here, if I can pick it up. Okay, it had sort of been my plan to be able to shove these, you know, bend, bend these wires over at 90 degrees to the top of the of the LED and swing everything underneath there. I'm going to have to push stop here and just take a look in in there and see how much I can. You know, I don't want to be making a, a mess either. Okay, I've done two things here. I've stuck my hobby knife in there to give it just a little bit more room and I've also cut cut the ends off of the wire because I think I had what you might say a little tiny blob of solder on there was making it well, you can tell that this is This is a, a really tight fit. Now there, there is no way that these are going to pass underneath there. It's just not going to happen. 
the only thing I could do would be, let's see how, how far off to the side can we go here. Quite a ways. Okay, how about the other side? Uh, well, the, the blade is there. Let's take the blade out. Okay, maybe maybe what I could do, let's, let's not break these wires off and have to resolder them again. If I was to take and bend one lead one way and the other lead the other way at 90 degrees, just, uh, I'm going to have to sort of unravel a little bit here maybe. Which way do we turn it to unravel it? I think like this. There we go. I don't like that. Now, if I was to bend this out 90 degrees over, maybe I should be holding onto the LED with something else other than my finger. I don't know if Tony's tweezers it would be better or worse. You know, I, I don't want to be wiggling these wires back and forth and back and forth where they're soldered on either because they're, they're a little bit probably brittle. And metal fatigue is going to set in. Now, let me just grab it back here. Now, is this going to work? Or are we going to regret this? Uh, the other one over the other way. Okay, now if I was to drop the LED down in that hole, I guess maybe I got I got too much slack going on there. This wire is so fine, you you can't feel it with your finger. It's sort of like trying to feel a a hair. <laughs> well, it doesn't want to go here. Why won't it go? And it went before. Oh, I think I know what's happening. Okay, I'm going to have to wedge this up. So that we can get get it underneath there. Okay, and then once we get them both underneath, then we can take the the blade out. Something like this. Now, <laughs> okay, take the blade out now. Now, if we could push that down in there and then get these leads back up underneath the tank, sort of, I might have to. I might have to do this off camera. I think that once that once this is, uh, you know, painted and everything black, we're not going to really notice it, because because after all, there is going to be part of the the top of the of the uh, outer hull is going to be going over top of this. And in fact, I don't even know how much of this tank is, is visible. Um, maybe quite a bit, I don't know. Uh, okay, uh, I think you get the idea. Ugh, that was stressful. be over my my limit here I've already had quite a bit today okay so that's 
90 times 2.7. Okay, 200, <clears throat> excuse me, 243 calories. Okay, we'll add this all up and see what we got. But not right now. Right now we wanna check this out. Every single little morsel here. Mm. Now, do I start with the crust? No, of course not. Okay, let's not flub this up because I'm on camera. Okay, 243 plus 198 plus 82 plus 184 plus 213 plus 8. Oh my goodness, I'm, I, I've only got up to 928 calories here. Can you, can you see that? I, I just wanted to show you this so I, you know I wasn't cheating. Okay, so uh, yeah, I can probably have two pr prunes and a little bit of wheat bran yet. And that'll bring me up to the 1,000 calories. What I'll do is... Uh, uh, Take a couple of prunes and then I'll just add wheat bran up to it. Uh, I think it's wheat bran works out to 2.3 calories per gram. It's quite easy to, you know, sprinkle it in and bring it up to just the right amount. To the gram and uh, to the calorie. Now that's, a, that's of course if all of this is, uh, you know, accurate. And it's pretty accurate. Now the pizza, you know, I, I called it 2.7 calories per gram, but... There might be more cheese in one slice than another, so it's going to be, you know, uh, and, the, and the same thing with the muffin. There might be more nuts in one slice than there is in another, so there, it's going to vary, but the overall works out to that amount. So, uh, okay, let's uh, take a look at our uh, uh, LED. We'll try and light, light it up. At least I'd like to have at least one lit up today. Oh, I hear Missy the dog coming. Gotta go. Missy the dog. Come on in. You're all covered with snow. Yes. She's got some good stuff to roll in. <laughs> Thank you, Ron. Okay, uh, five? Yeah. Okay. Now I am wondering here if maybe this lead here could not have been tucked in behind this part right here. See if I can get that back out now without, uh... Okay, see if I can get it in behind there. It'll sort of be out of sight. Now, am I going to be breaking the wire off because I'm, I'm pushing kind of hard on something there. Okay, here's another thought. 
we are not going to be using using these things like this one here and and so on they're all along the top here and the idea i guess was that you're supposed to be able to run your wires in them but that would be for people that are using you know normal wire and i'm using this super fine stuff here um this is just kind of kind of awkward here i'm going to end up breaking my wire off aren't i and then <laughs> It, it almost goes oh there. oh there we go okay now if I could lift this one up just a little and pull the wire through very gently here okay now if I could get something blunt and and bend bend this up here how about the how about the uh, Bismarck's uh, holder down or poke, poke it in there? And push it around like that. Okay. Now, I think that we are still all connected up. I don't, you know, but don't go yanking on it to see how strong it is. Um, yeah, so when once this is all painted black or whatever I'm going to do, it's it's not going to glint like that. We're not going to really see it. At least that's the plan. Okay, let's just for the fun of it, let's hook it up to the uh, power supply and see what it looks like. Okay, now because this is going to be all covered over with something eventually, let's cover it over right now so we're not really seeing that that light. Well, I suppose we might see a little bit of it, but... Um, okay, so we are at 1.8 volts. Let's start turning it up here. 2 volts. 2 2.3. 2.5. 2.6. 2.7. 7. Okay. 2.84. Let's turn it down just a little here. Okay, we're at 2.78 volts. Uh, I can envision when there is probably a whole lot in there. Uh, like there's only one right now, there's going to be a total of 8. I think it is going to add life to it. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be okay. At least now I can say at least, you know, that I did at least light up one. Uh, okay, let's, let's move on. What time we got here? It's, uh, it's 1.20 in the afternoon. I'm thinking about calling it quits here for today. There's other stuff I want to do. I don't think I'll be getting a coffee visitor now because uh, he would have phoned if he was planning on coming. So, and he hasn't called, so obviously he's not planning on coming. Okay, you know what? Thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.